for the first time since 1994. Lawyers and academics will now be considered for constitutional uh, court appointment. The Chief Justice Raymond Zondo uh, making this announcement on the sidelines of the Judicial Service Commission interviews. Let's get some detail now. Junior Kumalo is our reporter following this story. He is in studio with us, Junior. It's the first time that this has been done since 1994. What's motivated for this kind of move? Uh, indeed, Mr. Mkambi, there is a context to this. Uh, in October 2001, uh, there was a vacancy in the Constitutional Court created by the retirement of uh, Justice Sisi Kampembe. The Judicial Service Commission has failed in two attempts to appoint an individual to replace uh, Kampembe. In October uh, 2002, there was an attempt to have interviews, but there were not enough candidates that were shortlisted. Uh, the Constitutional Court says that um, for every uh, position that is open, there should be three candidates, three more candidates that are interviewed or that are recommended to the president for that position. So four candidates should be recommended to the president. So not enough candidates applied. And uh, this year in April as well, there was another attempt to fill this position. And again, uh, we had a problem with uh, not enough candidates applying for this position. So now uh, Justice um, uh, uh, Raymond Zondo has indicated that there should be a consideration of senior lawyers as well as academics to be appointed directly to the Constitutional Court. And it would appear that we already have a precedent here because he has appointed some of those that you are mentioning, senior lawyers including an academic. It was in uh, April. Yes, in well, April he announced uh, three announcements and they are acting in that position because of the interviews for that position of a constitutional court is going to be, the interview is going to be next year uh, in April uh, 2024. So we also have a precedence to this. In 1994 itself, there were two individuals that were appointed to the constitutional court without being judges. Uh, the first was L. B. Sachs, who was a lawyer, an activist, and an author. He had a very broad CV. He was appointed into the constitutional court at its formation. And also there was Kate O'Regan, who was 37 at the time. Yes. And she was also appointed into the constitutional court. She was an academic. She was at UCT at the time. And she was appointed to the constitutional court. And if my memory serves, if I've read my literature correctly, I would say even uh, Justice Lope, who's oh, yes, in trouble indeed, with the law indeed, now, yes. uh, he's never really been, uh, he's never practiced, he's never been in a courtroom, but yes. he went straight he also to a judicial well. position. Quick one, uh, Junior, we're out of time. Constitutionally, does our constitution allow for this or is it something that we are hoping to amend? So the, constitutional, the Constitution itself does not preclude uh, the appointment of non-judges into the Constitutional Court. It's just that uh, there has been a norm that judges who have uh, ascended in the ranks of being judges have been appointed to this position. But the Constitution itself does not preclude any uh, individual uh, being appointed into the Constitution. Junior Kumado, thank you very much for setting us uh, the context there for why... Uh, the Chief Justice Raymond Zondo has had to uh, resort to this and it is because of the shortage of candidates. Junior Kumalo explaining that to us so well.